Hey guys, it's me, Mark. Today I'm making a pretty stupid video for you. It's actually part two of a video that I made a while back. I apologize if throughout the video you hear a little bit of construction noise. There's some work going on outside across the lake. I can hear it. Not sure if the mics are picking it up, if you can hear it, but if you do, all the better. This is a construction video. I'm building a lure out of free junk that you can take from pretty much any hotel room and make a fishing lure out of it. Not that anyone would ever want to do that. All right, so first of all, I realize this is ridiculous and stupid, but I did start part one when I was bored in a hotel room. I encourage you to go back and watch that video. And since I started it and published the video, I kind of feel like I have to go through with it and actually construct some type of usable fishing lure out of the free crap that you get at a hotel room. I actually did come up with a few items. I'll do a quick review of what I found in the hotel room. And I actually think it's possible. I do think it's possible. So uh, just quickly, the things that I ended up bringing home with me, one of which is is uh, this pen. There's a spring in it, but the, the little pocket holder part guy you know, if you look at that, it almost kind of has the shape and, and size of a, of a minnow. So I feel like I could kind of cut it apart and make some kind of minnow shaped lure or bait. All right, so the next item that I have here, uh, I think it's, I think it must be a shower cap. Maybe we take a closer look at it down here. I, I, it's a shower cap or some type of hairnet or something, um, but it appears to have some type of fuzzy nest. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, take a look. Oh wait, there's more than one part. What is this? Oh, okay. There's the plastic shower cap. Honestly, I don't see you having this much, having much utility as far as making a fishing lure. It's scented. So yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I can't honestly see this helping much with the lure. Okay, at least I've got safety covered now. So I won't get any hair in my lure. But this part here, which is not what I thought it was. It appears to be some type of little hair tie ponytail, but maybe I can cut it and get some of the elastic, you know, out of it and use the fabric part. If you can see the fabric part here, and maybe I can use that to sort of imitate some fins. Well, it's, it's coming apart. Well, what can I say? It was free junk. You know, it's going to come apart, I guess. Uh, but maybe I can fashion some type of you know, trailer or uh, maybe some fin across the top of of this part, you know, so, you know, picture, this is ridiculous. This is stupid. I, I don't know. The other thing that I brought, and I have really no idea if I can use this or not, it's uh, some shampoo, lemon verbena. I'm honestly still not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I have no idea what verbena is. All I know is that in this particular hotel, Every single product that they have, whether it's their soap, their shampoo, hand wash, their face wash, their body wash, everything in there was uh, lemon verbena. Comment if I'm not saying that right. I don't know. Anyway, the only reason I brought this with me uh, is because I thought maybe the black lid, you know, maybe I can do something. Um, I'm starting to rethink that and I may not end up using this at all. Now, one part that did not make the original video, which I'm kind of lucky uh, to have found, is this. I found this the morning before I left in one of those, you know, the little uh, nightstand dresser drawers. And what this is, is a little handy dandy sewing repair kit. You see that? So there is some thread. Ooh, I could put a couple of, be of the, um, there's two buttons in here. I could put those together and maybe they'll rattle a little bit and make a little extra vibration and sound. I originally thought about maybe trying to bend a hook out of out of these uh, needles. I will give that a try. I have a feeling that 
Um, one of these needles will probably snap before I get it bent into a shape of a decent hook. And that said, it would be a barbless hook. So that would make the challenge even harder. And I'm not sure if I want to do that to myself. All I really want to do is accomplish the original mission, which is creating a lure that will catch an actual fish. And I should probably point out that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go fishing and I'm gonna try and find some crappie that are already hungry and biting. And then I'm gonna tie this thing on and try to catch one with it. I'm not gonna go searching for fish with, you know, a, with, with something made out of this junk. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna find some fish that are biting. I'm going to uh, then attempt to catch one with this garbage. Full transparency, that's what I'm gonna do. So this, this part here, See, that shape there is kind of minnow-like, right? You can kind of imagine that that could be a minnow. I'm a swimming minnow, I'm a swimming minnow. See, the problem is this thing has, you know, there's more to it. So it's not just a straight up minnow shape. It's got, you know, it's it's got that. So I have to cut the minnow-ish part off, attach other things to it. Maybe a couple of the little buttons, like I said. As far as using any of this other crap, don't know. But one thing I'm gonna have to do is is attach a split ring. Or maybe I'll just put a hole in it so I can clip snap swivel to it. I'll probably have to put a hole in both ends of this so I can attach whatever I'd use for a hook. Probably a small treble hook um, off of another lure or something and then also be able to attach a um, a snap swivel and you know the more I look at this honestly the more I'm thinking probably this piece of pen all by itself would work just fine if anything's gonna work but in the spirit of making something truly idiotic I will at least use the buttons I will see if it's possible to make a hook out of one of these needles but man I'm not excited about trying to uh, actually land fish with barbless hooks. I kind of want to just accomplish this thing. You know, I, I mean, I don't want to make it ridiculously impossible. It was just a stupid idea. Now I'm stuck doing it. I'll give it a try. We'll see what happens. I better get something to make some holes. I need to grab a couple of uh, tackle items, I think. And uh, then we'll get started actually putting this thing together. All right, so I went and gathered up some tools. Got some uh, side cutters. I realized that the battery to my cordless drill is dead, but not to be discouraged, I've got an idea. Now, even though I probably can't turn these needles into actual fishing hooks, and honestly, really don't want to, uh, what I think I could do is use them to bore holes in the plastic. Um, so I brought down this guy, we're gonna play with fire. We're gonna play with fire and uh, basically heat up the needle uh, to the point where it's hopefully hot enough to melt and I can work it around. I'll hold it with the pliers. Now, these are actually wire cutters, but they've got a little pliery section at the end there. So I'll hold the needle, heat it up, work a couple of little holes into the minnowy looking part. Uh, so more parts of the pen, it's got this spring in it. So I'm gonna take the spring in one of the holes, kind of wind it through, and maybe try to thread on a couple of these uh, buttons that came in the sewing repair kit. Yeah. Then I'm going to also take off uh, the this treble hook uh, from this, this buckshot vertical jig. And what I probably should do is just go fishing with this jig and catch fish with it. But no, I'm instead going to build something that will most likely break the first time a fish touches it. That's assuming I can even get a fish to bite it. Or maybe it'll be the best hotel fishing lure that anyone's ever made in the entire world, in the history of the world. I think I got a shot at that. You know what? I've got a shot at making the best fishing lure that was improvised out of free crap from a hotel room in the history of human civilization. Yeah, okay, so the new goal. I'm a little more excited about this now. Still don't want to use the needles for hooks. Not excited about trying to land fish on barbless hooks. I want this thing to be effective. I'll see if I can bend some kind of a hook out of one of these needles and attach it to this contraption. If it works, it works. If not, I will use the treble hook off of um, this buckshot lure. Step one, I need to get the minnowy looking part and I feel lucky about getting the, the pen I had this thing on, because look, it's already painted silver. It's got kind of a shape, look, look like a minnow. I mean, I, 
just like that, that, that that's a good lure right there I think here I'm gonna try and just get a decent cut without shattering anything well it did kind of break off relatively cleanly but look what I got now um, silver it's got a little bit of a wave to it so if I'm dragging it you know maybe a split shot in front of it get it down under there drag it with a little action I think I, I could definitely get I can see this getting a little wave action side to side or up and down or all around definitely gonna have to use a swivel though definitely gonna use a snap swivel because this will be a line twist inducer a uh, stretchy thing I don't see it adding any value Shampoo, thought I had some ideas at the beginning, but now it just seems stupid. Not gonna use the shampoo either. Let's keep it simple, okay? I'm no expert when it comes to homemade lure manufacturing, but when you're making top quality, high level fishing lures out of hotel junk that you got for free, keep it simple. And I don't have any good ideas for how to use these. Let's see, I'm gonna take one of these needles. Ah, safety first, gang. Safety first. Okay, that way I won't catch my hair on fire when I start playing with fire. Now I may melt plastic to my scalp and into my hair, but I probably won't catch my hair on fire. So I've got, you see I've got this needle. Hopefully I can squeeze this thing tight enough to actually bore a hole with it. All right, now comes the fire. Heat this up. I need a hole at each end of my little minnowy. Ooh, that's heating up to red hot pretty quick there. This might actually work. Okay, so while it's still super hot, I'm gonna take my little minnow guy. I'm gonna go. Oh, this works, man. This works beautifully. Can't say that it smells as good as it seems to be working. So now I need a hook, or I'm sorry, a, uh, a hole on the other end, which we can use to poke a snap swivel through my little minnow deal. Can you guys see it? This thing is red hot. Yeah, it just pokes through there like a maniac. Okay, it's probably usable. Okay, now that I'm done with the uh, heat portion, hopefully you can see I've got a couple of nice little holes in my little minnow shaped dealy. Um, I feel comfortable taking off my, my protective shower cap. So I've got two buttons from the sewing kit and I want to sort of thread them onto the spring. This may take a second. I'm not sure if you can see what I'm doing or not, but it's not working. Ooh, okay. Button number one is on the spring. Now I gotta get button number two on the spring. Huh. Button number two threading onto the spring. So now I've got the spring with these two stupid uh, shirt buttons on it. And I've got my minnow taily deal thing. So now I'm gonna thread that on, see if it'll go through the hole I made with that needle. And it does. I use some pliers here. I kind of want this part to swing freely. So now I've got a minnowy thing, right, with a with a couple of shirt buttons on it and a spring. And at the top end, uh, you can see that, a hole which I can just poke a snap swivel through, right? So all that's left really now at this point is um, a treble hook. I think I'll put a treble hook on the end of it. And then I will have the dumbest crappie lure that I've ever seen. I need to come up with a, a name for it. I'll work on that. Matter of fact, hit me in the comments below if you can think of a name for this thing before part three of the video series, which is gonna be me actually trying to go catch a fish with this. Uh, so one last step. This hook is sharp. That's good for catching fish. Ouch. Dang, man. Can you guys hear the construction work going on across the lake? They're also listening to a, um, a uh, Spanish language radio station. The music's pretty cool, but I can't understand anything the people are saying. I also can't understand why I'm doing this. Got it. Man, I'm good at this crap. Okay, now I need to attach the split ring to the spring. This is ridiculous. Look how long this is. 
And I think I need to try and compress the spring a little bit. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna catch, you know, if, if it catches any fish, it's gonna catch one fish. It's really pretty stupid. Um, <laughs> it doesn't like hang freely or anything. Okay, this is what I've made. What do you think? Give me some comments, give me some feedback. Be honest, I can take it. So this is what I'm gonna try. Hopefully I'll get out to this weekend, I'll find some crappie, tie this guy on. Again, I'm looking for a name. I need a name for this. I'm thinking something like the crap bagger. I, I don't know, I don't even I don't even know. I'll work on coming up with a name. Um, you guys work on coming up with a name. I realize this is probably the stupidest video that you've seen at least today, if not in the last week or month, but if you enjoyed it at all, I encourage you to Click the like button. I encourage you to click subscribe and click the little bell. That way you get notified when part three of this video series comes out. I also am going to encourage you to go back and watch part one so you can see when I actually found all this crap in the hotel room. You can see uh, me having this bright idea of, of putting this garbage together. Although that said, you know, hey, I got it built. There's no lemon verbena involved. Uh, there's no shower curtain. Although I do feel like that saved my life. Um, or could have potentially saved my life. Should the fire have gotten out of control during the construction of this finely crafted uh, crappie slaying garbage. Again, please make sure to subscribe. You do not want to miss part three of this. I know you do not want to miss part three. So you got to click subscribe and you got to click that bell so that you get notified. Um, you, you, you want to get notified as soon as this thing catches a fish. And as soon as it does, if it does, when it does, when it does, you can bet your butt that I'm going to make a video as, as quickly as I can and, and get that posted. I think that's going to be something that we're all going to want to share and, you know, rejoice in. Because we all will, will have been a part of, of something really um, unnecessary, ridiculous, but hopefully somewhat entertaining for someone. Thank you. That is all.